How's it going guys, it's Josh here and today we are going to be taking a look at yet another RGB mechanical keyboard. This one is from All Really, the same manufacturer that made the headphones I reviewed in my previous video, so thanks for sending this out to us. So let's get straight into it, first of all it's a very solid feeling keyboard, the majority of it's made out of aluminium, apart from the base which is plastic. It's quite a heavy keyboard, it doesn't slide about at all when it's on your desk thanks to the chunky rubber feet on the bottom. The retractable feet are also nice and chunky and tilt the keyboard at quite a comfortable angle. We also get a braided cable which is always nice, it's quite thick as well so should be durable. Key font is just standard, no crazy gamer font going on here, which hearing from most people is a welcome addition. Interestingly though, if you take a look at the WASD keys and the arrow keys, they're exactly the same which is a little bit strange and a bit of a nod I guess to it being a gaming keyboard. We get all of our standard multimedia function keys along the top and it's also worth noting that the keyboard is UK layout. Unfortunately we get no palm rest included with this keyboard. I do think companies would be better off to try and include these with every keyboard as they do make quite a big difference and for some people it can literally be a deal breaker. The manufacturer logo sits just above the arrow keys like with most keyboards and the text is slightly raised not just printed on which makes it look that little bit higher quality. Now perhaps one of the most interesting features of this keyboard is the little cradle stand looking things protruding out the back. Now these are designed to hold your smartphone or tablet, it's a great idea and they do work really really well. The only thing I'm a little bit disappointed about here is that they're not removable, so even if you're not going to use them, you're stuck with two massive prongs sticking out the back of your keyboard and they're not particularly nice to look at either. Functionality wise though, top marks. Typing on this keyboard is quite a good experience, it uses our Timu blue switches, we've seen them before, they're a copy of Cherry MX Blues, however these switches are the ones that are also replaceable. You get some spares in the box along with the removal tool. Now this brings us on to lighting and highlights perhaps the biggest problem of these replaceable switches. So that the switches can be replaceable, the LEDs on these types of switches have to be surface mounted inside the keyboard chassis itself, which means that not as much light gets through to the keycap. Compared to keyboards where the LED is mounted on the switch directly beneath the keycap, like with this one, they're no way near as bright which is a little bit disappointing. Nevertheless we do still get quite a few lighting effects on this keyboard which I'll show you now. So pretty much we have 8 effects all together, now like with a lot of these keyboards you can change the effect by holding the FN key and pressing another, in this case it's print screen. The first is this sort of dynamic flashing colour effect. The second allows the user to customise the colour of each and every key. You enable this mode by pressing FN and the DIY button. You can then change the colour of each key and save it by pressing FN and DIY again. Now one thing I will mention at this point is that this keyboard has a really good orange colour. Some cheaper mechanical keyboards that I've seen don't have the colour orange for some reason even though they're supposed to be RGB, but this one does. Moving on to effect number 3, it's pretty much just a static colour, you can press FN and the right and left arrow keys to select any one of the 9 available colours, and you can also do that for pretty much all of the effects which is cool. Effect number 4 is a breathing effect. Effect number 5 is the effect where the letters light up as you press them and leave a light trail. Effect 6 is a bit of a strange one, it's the opposite to the previous one, the letters are on to begin with and then they go out as you type on them. Effect number 7 is probably one of my favourites, the LEDs ripple when you type on them. And finally for effect number 8 we get LEDs that chase up and down the keyboard. You'll notice that we can change the speed of this effect and quite a few others as well by holding FN and pressing the plus and minus keys. Brightness can also be adjusted using page up and page down. It is a very good set of effects, you can pretty easily find one that you want, and you don't need to install any software either because it's all stored to the keyboard memory which is very handy indeed. Overall I'd say this keyboard's strong points are its solid construction, the fact that we get those replaceable switches, and also that we get some added functionality of the smartphone and tablet stand on the back. However it would have been nice if this was removable, and I would like to have seen brighter lighting. However, we have to remember that we are effectively trading off bright lighting so that we get the replaceable switches. Is the trade-off worth it? Maybe, maybe not. It depends if you're ever going to want to change the switches or not. 
All that aside, it is only around £50, which is definitely in the cheaper bracket of fully mechanical RGB keyboards. And for the money, you are getting quite a lot of features, you just have to bear in mind that there are a couple of trade-offs, so you may have to decide what features are most important to you before purchasing this keyboard, or any other keyboard for that matter. Thanks very much for watching today guys, and thanks for all the continued support, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.